بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مائی نیم از ارتضا حسین خان اینڈ ان دس پریزنٹیشن آئی ول ٹاک یو اباؤٹ کلاسیفکیشن آف کمپیوٹرس کلاسیفکیشن آف کمپیوٹر ٹائپس آف کمپیوٹرس ان دس لائٹ یو کین سی ٹائپس آف کمپیوٹرس بائی ٹائپ بائی سائز اینڈ بائی پرپز بائی ٹائپ اینالاگ ڈیجیٹل ہائبرڈ and by size micro mini mainframe super and by purpose general purpose and special purpose computers are classified as classification mean computer in this presentation i will talk you about the all the method of this classification number 1 classification on the basis of work number 2 classification on the basis of purpose number 3 classification on the base of size number 4 classification on the base of brand number 5 classification on the basis of model first of all on the basis of work analog computer is a type of computational device in which the problem variables are represented as continuous varying physical quantities such as temperature and pressure analog computer are special purpose computer that perform specific tasks such as are faster in operation deal with changing physical quantities and examples seismograph and speedometer etc digital computer is an electronic computing machine that uses binary digits 0 and 1 to represent all terms of instruction internally in digital form works on discontinuous data difference between analog and digital computers on the left side you can see the analog computer difference and on the right side you can see the difference of digital computer from analog computer first we will discuss about analog computer number 1 measures continuous physical variation such as pressure temperature voltage etc but in the same case if we can see digital computer processes discrete data such as numbers letter etc analog computer number 2 generates analog signals but in digital computer generate digital signals in analog computer number 3 low accuracy in the reverse digital computer high accuracy analog computer high cost digital computer low cost analog computer used for special purpose digital computer used for general purpose analog computer reprogramming is not possible in this computer but reprogramming is possible in digital computers hybrid computers contain all the features of analog and digital computers the use of hybrid computer it is used in flight management icu monitor in petrol pumps industry etc on the basis of purpose specific purpose and general purpose specific purpose designed to perform specific task only but in general purpose designed to perform many task specific purpose uses mostly analog computers but general purpose used generally in everywhere and every one specific purpose trained personnel required to operate but in general purpose computers at home and offices are general purpose computers on the basis of size super computer most power, powerful computer in the world huge in size have highest processing speed and most expensive used to process large amount of data to solve complicated scientific problems can perform more than 1 trillion calculation per second can handle thousands of users at the same time used in automobile industries aerospace metrological 
weather forecasting etc example you can see cray1 and cray2 etc and in this slide you can see the supercomputer and now the question is that what is supercomputer supercomputer a computer that was the fastest in the world at the time it was constructed it can tackle the task that would not be practical for other computers typical uses breaking the codes and modeling weather systems now we will talk about mainframe computer mainframe computers are larger in size have higher processing speed have the larger storage capacity and experts live than mini computers have multi processors so thousands of users can use single mainframe computer at a time are specially used as servers on the work world wide web are used in banks airlines universities etc examples of mainframe computers you can see ibm 1401 CDC six six double zero etc. Now, what is mini computer? A mini computer is a small, fully functional computer. This one is Raspberry Pi. Pi. It's what we are demoing today. It is small, cheap, mean thirty five dollars, portable battery. Bottom line, cheap price means a lot of people are playing with these. Mean can easily. by mini computers agencies are starting to use these to prototype innovate ideas starting to see some cool uses micro computer or general purpose computer small sized computer which use micro processor as their cpu or single use computer because they are designed to be used by one person at a time micro computer support networking environment internet systems and advanced software types of micro computer in this slide i will talk you about types of computer how many types of computer so there are three types of micro computer desktop computer laptop computer handheld computer desktop computer a micro computer that fits on a desk and runs on a power from an electrical wall outlet the cpu can be housed in either a vertical or a horizontal case has separate compute components main keyboard mouse are separate that are each plugged into the switch so you can see the desktop computers laptop computers second type of micro computers a portable compact computer that can run on a electrical wall outlet or a battery unit all components keyboard mouse etc are in a compact unit usually more expensive than a comparable desktop computer sometimes called a notebook so in this slide you can see that laptop computers hardware computers internal hardware internal hardware may components and external hardware peripherals computer components hardware computer components hardware in this slide you can see the components of hardware of computer cpu motherboard and then its component separately on the basis of brand ibm pc ibm compatible apple or macneo macintosh ibm pc and ibm compatible ibm pc and ibm compatible ibm pc are originally and branded computers manufactured by ibm company but ibm compatible are duplicate and assembled and manufactured by a local company with the permission of ibm ibm pc are expensive and comparatively stronger but ibm complicated computers are cheaper and comparatively less strong and ibm pc use original and genuine software more reliable and difficult to maintain because their parts are not available easily in market 
but IBM compatible computers are comparatively use genuine and copy software both and less reliable and easy to maintain because their parts are easily available in market on the basis of model XT computers extended computer etc you can see in this slide and microprocessor which are used in these types of computer AT computer and PS are two computers the difference between both which is the type of on the basis of model of computers workstation powerful desktop computer designed for specialized tasks can tackle tasks that require a lot of processing speed can also be an ordinary personal computer attached to a LAN local area network workstation picture you can see in this slide again I will talk you about mainframe computers mainframe computers are large expensive computers capable of simultaneously processing the data for hundreds or thousands of users used to store manage and process large amounts of data that need to be reliable secure and centralized usually housed in a closest size cabinet in this slide you can see the mainframe computer server its main purpose is to serve to other computers a computer that has a purpose of supplying its users with data usually through the use of lawn local area network server as it is clarified from its name server its main purpose is used to serve the other and in this slide you can see the picture of server computer that serves the other's computers